welcome back to another episode of Austria in the popular demand mod, where as you guys know, last episode we crushed the Germans. Compl we didn't quite break up the empire quite as much as I would have hoped for. Maybe I was hoping for like an entire like decentralized region like right about here. But you know, we did break them up a little bit. We destroyed the rest of the African colonies, but apparently America gets everything because we're America. That kind of angered me right there, because it was like, America didn't fight anything, they didn't deserve any of that, but somehow they got all of that territory, and we got basically nothing out of that. Um, seems like there's Nafan Patriots everywhere spawning. China's starting to have a little bit difficulty controlling themselves. Um, that's not good. Like, that's seriously not good, and there's Bethlehemian Patriots right there. Yeah, the world's definitely changed since I remember it. And the Nationalist Conference is almost done. Let's do Nationalist Conference! Huzzah! But yeah, this is... This is the war. This is the world, people. We are now just... Basically, the last war we need to fight is this war in South Africa, which I'm gonna go send some troops to go in and go finish it off. Because otherwise, I believe this could literally take, like, another 12 years of us fighting this war. And I honestly don't have the time nor patience to be fighting that. So let's just go send our troops down here. This this port will probably be conquered by the time we get down there. So it's all going to be fine. Let's see. Ukraine sending their troops down here? Yes. Like I thought, if I sent in enough of my troops, everyone would start to go down there. Sudan's also in my control. Ukraine, man. Ukraine, the one power I, I never thought that would ever become a power in this game. But they did. And they became a good colonialist power, which is weird. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can we justify a war for you guys? Yes. Alright, add the sphere. Let's see. Even if I take the full amount, it won't be bad. Okay. Add them to our sphere, and I believe we're going to be done with our conquests. And why do I want to add them to our sphere? Because when I click on this, I have this big, gigantic, open, gaping hole right here. And I want to make sure that open gaping hole is not, uh, rescinded, basically. I want to make sure that we have not that ga big gaping hole. That way all my troops can move in everywhere. We can basically be this nice, gigantic, free nation of sharing everything. Ah, it sounds so perfect. Okay, let's see, has my ships arrived yet? Uh, where are my ships? They should, uh, are they, have they not left the harbor? No, they're gone. Okay. Let's see, where are my ships? Wait, there's my ships. Where's my 106 stack? There they are. Okay, they're going to take a little bit of time to get there because I'm guessing these are old clippers. No, these are steamers. These are advanced ships. It's just, they take a long time to do things. Apparently, my economy is still going well, which I love. Yeah, we're getting 6,000 more demetaries. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And then we have this little country right here that France freed um, of a Solent. It, that's kind of a cool country to kind of see. And let's see, we could also... No, Yugoslavia is our French, Occitanian's friends. I don't quite want to, like, make them mad yet. Uh, you guys don't want to accept... Hey, you guys are my little vassals. You guys should be like, Hey, yeah, we totally want our big friends, the uh, Austrian hungry men, to come and help us. And now since we have basically land access through them, this is awesome. Like, we have a powerful alliance. We have powerful alliances and friends. Oh my goodness. I wish there was I wish there was time for just one more war with Germany. It'd be so awesome. And let's see, Germany is I mean, South Africa is actually doing a pretty good fight right now against all these different foreigners attacking them. Um Nationalist China actually got their own army down there, which I'm kind of shocked about. Uh right now, and apparently Beijing is being completely engulfed by uh Patriots. Um what? <laughs> Um, let's see, where's the capital right now? The capital is Pinkling. What? It's not Beijing? Wait, where's Beijing? Wait, where's Beijing? Oh my goodness, is, is Beijing gone in this game? Wait, 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 I, I can usually recognize it by the, uh... No, this is usually Beijing. I'm almost certain that that's usually Beijing's province. Did they... I don't know what happened there, but apparently there was some kind of political thing that changed it. And the rebels are instantly sieging up their capital too, so... Whoever the rebels are, they might actually be able to... Uh, yeah, they're, they're completely overrunning everything in in uh, China. This is kind of scary, actually, now that I look at it. 
I'm not even, I, I think I'm done looking down there. It's, it's kind of scary. Okay, and then we have our troops right here who are just like destroying whatever. Oh, shoot. Okay, looks like we might actually lose this. I'm not sure. They have 33 versus 106, and 106 of those guys are like, not my men. Let's see. Do I have, can I just like, you guys, get onto the shore. Like, I don't want you guys to all die. Please don't die. And you guys, Ottoman Empire, declare war, add the sphere, call in all my, you know, I just want to call in one ally. I don't need everyone to join in this war. In fact, just you guys. You guys get to be called in because you guys are my, uh, well, for lack of a better word, you're underneath my control right now. And you guys get to be called into every war I do. And go crush those guys. Yes, okay, I won. Okay, I won that battle. You guys go into go in here, dock up, and we're gonna go send our 75 men to go finish up the South African conquest. Okay, let's go down here. Let's see, is there any good major South African army? There's a couple over here, but they're not too, too big. And once I control them, these guys are going to be like all mad. Let's see, I don't really want to cut down the size. They would not accept this offer. Yeah, I don't really care about Argentina's want. I don't I don't know what you did to make Argentina mad, South Africa, but you seriously made them mad to make them want to do cut down the size to you. And then these guys should be able to handle almost all of the uh, provinces. In fact, no, let's get these guys in on it too. Persia, you get to be in on this uh, conquest of the uh, Ottoman Empire's land. Okay, just to open up more fronts and to just completely confuse these guys. Hey, you guys too, because I... I made you guys a long time ago, so you guys get in, and you guys get your first war! Huzzah! Everyone's fighting in this war! Ah! Even though I don't really need you guys, everyone's gonna fight in the war, because everyone needs to contribute. Oh my goodness, these guys have been completely overrun by a nationalist. The capital is completely underneath nefarian patriots. I don't know what this is gonna happen. I believe what I said would happen is actually gonna come to pass. I believe this is all going to switch to being Nationalist China, and since I already made Nationalist China, uh, this might be really hilarious to watch. I, I'm very interested to see what happens in China. I, I'm very interested to see what happens in China. Okay, who's for laissez No, we don't want laissez-faire. Laissez-faire killed us. Okay, it seems like a lot of my uh, factories are now just kind of closing. So let's go see, what do we need to close right now? Luxurious clothes factory. Let's see. Let's go close. I don't really want the radio to close. Uh, we can close this. Uh, canneries we can close because I'm not really using them. Canneries we can close. Canneries we can close. Let's see. Oh my goodness, you guys just like destroyed this industry. I don't know what happened there, but that industry just like, boop, gone. Telephones we can keep because I like telephones. No, we're not building another early. Ah, oh, stupid capitalist. Okay, radio factory we need to keep. Uh, we probably need to keep this, too, because that's also very important. Let's see. Yeah, kill the early factories. I don't know why I still have early factories. They're not useful at all. They really aren't. Like, seriously, people, they are not useful at all. Uh, this, this, keep this, destroy the rest of these. If I'm going to have to keep just a couple, I'm going to keep the steamers, because the steamers are awesome. Let's see. Do we even, have we built the rest of our steamers yet? No, we still have not. Wow. Even to the very end of this game, I still haven't built all the steam as I originally built. Let's see, we're moving in quite rapidly now. Um, there's still that South African army right there that's kind of annoying me. But, we just finished up that. We got now naval, naval stuff right here. And, yeah. I believe we're going to win this very, very soon. With all the amount of men we have on our side, we're going to win this very, very soon. Uh, you guys are basically crushing through all of the Ottoman Empire's land. They're going to soon become part of my boot, too. China's about to switch to something. Constitutional content. You, the people, deserve the credit. Yes. And when in doubt, praise the people. Because they know what they're doing. Or at least that's what they we want you to think. <gasps> Conspiracy. Okay, let's see. We have many troops... Moving into the final little bits of Africa, we have these guys basically crushing through all of, really, five star, really? Five star forts? Wow. Africa is, South Africa, you guys, you guys did pretty good at arming you guys yourselves. Like, seriously, you guys armed yourself to the T. Okay, but we are eventually going to win this because we do have superior numbers. It's just, it's going to take us a little bit because we're kind of, 
If I must be honest with you, we just recovered from another war, and it's like really complex right now. And let's see, we're gonna do some invasions right there. Oh yeah, you see, as we we're finishing this up so quickly. And Clipper Boom? Question mark? In 1832, guys, the Wolf Queries and Dry Docks in the middle of our console province are buzz with the rings of hammers and songs of songs, and the local factory struggles to keep up with the new orders for Clipper ships that are pouring in from all over the world. Efficient work processes and magnificent combined with excellent craftsmanship and seamanship have led to them being produced and better ships than during any year previous. Perhaps this is a time to rest on the laws, but then again, the future is always uncertainty. Let us celebrate, establish a naval school. Let's establish a naval school. That sounds like a great idea. Like, for longevity things, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, that army is now starting to annoy me. Go crush Africa. Go crush South Africa. At least, I'm hoping that they don't actually have the technology of the British, because this... They could actually pose a threat if they do that. Um, this, this is going to be so weird. Wait, Chinese fascist? Fascism? No, Chinese patriots took over the capital. But Chinese fascism is also running rampant. That's pretty weird. Over here in the Ottoman Empire, though, it looks like... I don't know what's going on with them. They're just kind of, like, doing stuff. And I don't know what's happening. Like, we're just kind of crushing them, and I don't really know what's happening. I mean, I have all this indirect control, like, if anyone- Oh, yay, hey guys, you guys are joining us in my alliance sphere, good job, good job, I knew you guys would eventually become one of my friends. See, it's so nice being guarded by me. But look at this, you have an entire network of alliances and trade power, and it's just awesome being my friend. Okay, over here in the mountains, we are kind of winning, I believe? Okay, okay, I think we crushed more than what they could crush of ours. So yeah, I think we destroyed the South African army. It was a good fight, I'll give you that. It was a definite good fight. They gave a good show for as much force as we showed them. Over here though, this... This war probably needs to end here very, very soon. Okay, you guys, I knew it. Oh wait, you guys... Hey, Ottomans, would you guys just give up? No, you guys definitely want to fight this to the end. I don't know why, but you guys are seriously determined to fight this to the end. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can call in Ukraine. Oh dang, I can't call them in yet. Okay, guess we won't call them in. But what about Greece? Greece usually likes to kick on you. Yeah, you guys join in. Uh, Chinese take over at Manchuria! Really? You guys are back to that again? Oh, okay. Greece is now joining in on our war, so they should be sending some troops over here to go funnel in. South Africa, you guys are ready? Yes, you guys are ready. Thank you. Okay, so now South Africa is officially South African Hungarian. Now we have basically the utmost control over all of Africa. We basically own Africa. I mean, yeah, we basically own Africa. Oh my goodness. It's, it's sad to say, but yeah, we basically own Africa. We own all of its production lines. Hey, and your previous masters, okay, you guys, uh, add to sphere of influence. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Yes, and now we got that too. And apparently your previous masters, whoever they were, did not upgrade your railroad system. I'm going to do that right now for you guys. Because I'm a nice, I'm a nice dictator. Or I'm a nice overlord. And give me one second, guys, because I'm probably going to have to do something. So give me one second. Hey, people, I did what I had to do. And now we have completely, like, covered up all of South Africa in railroads. And now, we have to also worry about our other friends, the uh, Bulgarians, because they're basically paying taxes to us for us to improve their infrastructure. So let's do that. And now, since the Ottoman Empire is now a part of our little sphere of influence, in fact, I want you guys to see this. Look at my influence! Like, look at this! Look at this crazy amount of influence I have. I even have some in, uh, in South America, um, and then in Asia. OH MY GOODNESS, IT DID HAPPEN! <gasps> Oh my goodness, it did happen! Yes! Yes! Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, I know this is probably not gonna stay like this forever, but look at this, people! We got Chinese nationalists! We got Austrian Hungarian nationalist China right there! Oh gosh! I wish I could end the game like this. I, I wish I could make sure that China never formed a more mightier nation and I could just keep this like this and just, you know. 
maybe break him up even more so that they would make sure they never become a great power, but I know that would probably not come to pass, but look at that. Just look at that. That is... Oh, my... <laughs> oh man. And so, uh, with all great nations and with all great premises, what should we do now? Well, first off, we have to... Uh, hmm... We have to kind of do a couple things. Let's see, we could do... You know what, I just... For for just a fun war, I guess. Not really a war to like, end all wars, as I would say. Just a fun war. Let's do some things with our good friends of Warfield. I still have that. I should not have that. Okay? I bet everyone would agree with me when I say I should not have that. Uh, causes Belli right now. Okay? Let's see. Let's see. Who would we need on this? Uh, okay, because what I'm planning on is a, uh, let's see, I don't believe Ukraine could actually join in on this war, but, let's see, uh, the Ottoman Empire, Formula Alliance, you guys are going to hate me for a little bit, so maybe not, um, I can't really call you guys in because you guys are a little bit war, but let's see, United Kingdom, give me Helvgrad, and call in all my allies, let's see who would join in. Very likely, very likely, very likely, very likely. United States, impossible! Okay, let's try it. Let's try fighting the United Kingdom for the very last part of this game. I mean, it really shouldn't be that hard. United, treacherous United States. King, we are surprised to learn that France joined in. This is now officially a great war. Okay, Occitania joined in. Uh, yeah, Ukraine can't join in until, like later I'm assuming you guys increase relationships with Ukraine I don't know why Ukraine just dropped out but yeah they can't really attack anyway because we're kind of more powerful uh, United Confederation I'm gonna call you guys in because you guys are my ally now uh, you guys are joined in Korea you guys should be in on this I know you guys are a pretty weak nation but you guys should join in on this uh, let's see Indonesia you guys can join in on this Let's see, and then I guess all of these middle African countries can join in on this. Did you guys join in? Yes, you guys did. So we need a kind of land bridge over here. Let's see, go right there. Okay, you guys go right there. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, just everyone join in that can. Let's just try this all. Yeah. <laughs> the Bullfair Declaration. Sure, why not? Israel gains a core. Okay, uh, let's see. And let's see. Let's see how the British temple or tackle our empire. Um, the French joined in, so that means we have the straits right now. So what we need to do is make sure that we control the straits. Uh, Occitania joined in, so that means we just have to make sure we control the straits. And holy mother of pearl, do we have a big uh, scary fleet right there. We just have to make sure we control the strait, the little strait right here at Dover. I believe it's Dover. Is it Dover? Let's see. Go send... Wait. Do I have access? Maybe I don't have access to the French lands. Do I have access? Yes, I do. Okay, then what's the strait? I know there's a strait where they can actually literally attack them. What is it? Is it over here, maybe? Hmm. Well, I'm going to make sure that the... These guys' army doesn't die because I know it could die. So I'm gonna go like crush the uh gonna go help crush whatever resistance that uh the British sink up. Let's see, do I have any more men over here? Yes I do. Oh gosh. And let's see, I have a ton of massive men power just from all of these different things. Romania, you guys can also join in on this. Hopefully you guys will take these two provinces and add a war goal to them because that would be sweet. I've been waiting for that for like ever. Okay, and then Russia. This is probably going to be the weirdest war ever fought with Russia. Hopefully you guys aren't in this war. Oh, you guys are in on this. Shoot, I'm so sorry, uh, did you stand? I didn't mean for you guys to be in, be in on this. China, though. Nationalist China, hopefully you guys will mobilize. Yes, please mobilize. You guys will get crushed unless you guys mobilize. Oh, gosh. And then my good friends of... Of uh, this place... They're going to hopefully, with this little tiny passage right here, be able to go send in men to go destroy. Actually, we don't even need to do that because we still got men from over here that were attacking from the beginning. So this land is basically going to be all conquered pretty quickly. 
Maybe I'll give it to South Africa, too. <laughs> oh, man. This is just like... Uh, sure. 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 Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.